Edward, the really useful engine. The engines on the island of Sodor are good at different things. Gordon is a very good express. Percy is good at carrying the mail. And when Edward is not hauling freight cars, he is very good at being a back engine. When engines have heavy loads, Edward buffers up behind and helps push. But Edward is old. Some engines think this makes him unreliable. Edward is a useless old steam pot, Gordon sniffed. He should be retired. But he doesn't have tires, Percy said. Retired, said Thomas, means taken out of service. And not a moment too soon, said Gordon. And the other big engines agreed with him. But Percy was very upset. Later, his driver asked him why he looked so glum. Percy told him about Edward. The big engines don't think he's useful anymore, he said. Percy's driver saw Sir Topham Hatt and told him what Percy had said. I will attend to the matter immediately, said Sir Topham Hatt. Sir Topham Hatt had a plan. The new loop line is completed, he said to Edward. I want you to teach Stepney how to run it properly. But sir, he asked, who will look after the freight cars? Duck will do your work, Sir Topham Hatt replied. When the other engines heard Duck was going to help them, they were pleased. Duck is very reliable, said Henry. It makes no difference to me, said Gordon pompously. I don't need a back engine. And he wished away. Edward enjoyed working with Stepney. It was great fun delivering passengers to stations in the beautiful countryside. But Duck was not happy. The trucks were playing their silly games. Duck should play with other ducks, cause he's no good at pulling trucks. Quack, 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 hold back, hold back, they giggled. <laughs> Duck found himself going slower and slower and slower. Halfway up Gordon's hill, his wheels stopped altogether. Duck was stuck. Oh no, said his driver, this is Gordon's line. Duck's guard phoned the signalman to warn him. It's too late to switch Gordon to the middle line, said the signalman. You'll have to flag him down. Gordon saw the guard. If I stop on this hill, I'll never get started again, he said crossly. And he buffered up to Duck. Gordon tried to set off again, but his wheels spun and spun. It's no use. We need the back engine, said the driver. I'll send for Edward. Gordon was cross. Edward was excited. He was going to be the back engine for two trains. Edward cheerfully buffered up, and the strange train set off. They chuffed gently into the station. Look at that, laughed the boy. The back engine must be the strongest and the best. Gordon was embarrassed. Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Gordon. You have said rude things about Edward, Sir Topham Hatt said. He proved today that he is useful, reliable, and very helpful. Gordon felt very ashamed. The next morning, Gordon apologized. Thank you for helping me, Edward, puffed Gordon. You really are a useful engine. It's good to be back, Edward chuffed happily. Sir Topham Hatt's plan had worked. There was no more talk about Edward retiring.